Hello, my name is Jody Isaacs. We are here today at Estero Bluff State Park. I'm an environmental scientist. We're at San Luis Obispo Coast District. And today, as a part of our biodiversity week, we are going to be talking about one of the most diverse habitats here at Estero Bluffs, our intertidal zone. We're gonna talk a little bit, I uh, just wanna introduce you to our park here. Uh, Robin is panning around our park. It's a little tough today. Uh, we've got a marine layer and we also have some smoke from uh, the Dolan Fire, which is up north of here. So the visibility isn't fantastic, but we'll get up close today to have a look at it. Estero Bluffs is basically a, a patch of habitat from Highway 1 to the ocean's edge, about 385 acres of land. It consists mostly of this coastal terrace that you're looking at, a lot of grassland, some coastal scrub, um, some wetlands habitat, but the three miles of coast is really why this park was protected because it is an amazing biologically diverse habitat, this coastline and the rocky intertidal to be specific. And so that is what we're gonna talk about today. Very excited to share this with you. It's one of my favorite habitats that we have in our district and we have a lot of it considering our district is along the coast of central coast California here. So. The Rocky Intertidal Zone, we're looking at it right now. It is basically the habitat that's between the ocean and the land. It is very unique because it, it encompasses both of those environments. So if you think of California, 840 miles-ish of coastline, about half of California is this habitat zone, right? But it only is a narrow strip in the sense that it's only about nine meters, high tide to low tide, right? That is that zone. Um, so in terms of total acreage, it's about 10,000-ish acres of habitat, which is not very much, where if you think of, um, let's say forest habitat in California, that's like 19 million acres of habitat. So really, even though this is a narrow band, uh, it, it's small in acreage. It also has some of the most species richness, which means the abundance of species per habitat than other habitats in California. So that's one reason why I really wanted to focus on it for Biodiversity Day is because it's so diverse. Um, so if you think about uh, worldwide, there's probably about 300,000 species that call the intertidal home. Um, but here on the Central Coast, probably about a thousand, and that's uh, with plants and algae and the organisms that live in that habitat zone, which is really diverse. And in North America, this West Coast is probably the richest in biodiversity of any intertidal zone in the world. So we're pretty fortunate to be uh, be visitors here in this habitat, and we're going to have a look at it today. I wanna talk a little bit about um, not only is this biodiverse, but it also has a lot of function for us too in the sense that the animals that live there, the food chain, they just bring in plankton, the animals eat the plankton, the crabs and the barnacles and the other invertebrates and then birds and mammals that, uh, supplies life in this habitat zone, but it also provides protection on our bluff edge in the sense that it protects against storms. So there's a lot of value of this habitat, not only for the species, but for our entire coastline. So I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna get down and get personal with it. And we'll take a little walk to get down closer to the rocks and see what we can see when we're down there. All right, so let's do that. Got to kind of go down this gully to get down there. So are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> 